windshield wipers. Kind of get over your shoulder. Gate all the time with the GPS. Yeah, that's what it did to me. I like the names of the streets. Almost Heaven, Hanky Panky. Yeah. <laughs> wild, wild people. <laughs> <laughs> what is your lover's knot?
So this has both the basement air and the roof air. I imagine it gets pretty hot out here. Turn it off and on. Okay. You want to flip on all the lights one at a time or on and off? Okay, let me get this one here. Oh, that's the step cover. That's the cover for that. Okay. lights it's on the back of the reading light right yeah just twist it sorry there you go full-size refrigerator and freezer and ice maker all the comforts of home washer dryer combo you ever use that Never. <laughs> I mean, whoever gets it will most likely want to change out these to flat screens. Oh, the other 2005 I sold and they had like a 45 inch flat screen right there. Huge. The vanity. I mean, that's what alphas are known for is the roominess the roominess the storage the high ceilings Storage everywhere. Of course, we're both short, so it's hard to tell. But I cannot touch the ceiling. I cannot touch the ceiling in this RV. And that's really unusual. That's, they're very high. Been a while, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
gun storage. <laughs> a rod storage, you can also store rods up here. Yeah, exactly. There's storage right behind that. Yeah. If you're a fly fisherman. It goes from right somewhere. Oh, we'd never make it as RV sales. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there it goes. So you got a, I guess a full size bed. And uh, the other sleeping area there, queen in the back. This is a regular dinette, but I looked in converting these. You can buy them online, a uh, thousand bucks. And you could turn that into a bed a, yeah, that converts. Yeah. That's when you can. Yeah. Oh. Plenty of pull-out storage, all lockable. Your water filter, dispose all. Your electrical panels are 110. Your AC controls, uh, your electric is, is uh, I mean, your air conditioner is electric, but you can have gas heat or electric heat. Uh, Depending on where you're at and what you're doing. Your CO2 detector. These are your monitors for the holding tanks, the fresh water supply, the gas, and uh, your battery conditions. Water heater on and off. And there, as we did earlier, the slide button for the rear slide. pots and pans <laughs> what uh the guy asked when i delivered the last one he's like they didn't leave the pots and pans <laughs> some, he didn't know if it worked but it was working i tried it that one day in august so i gotta find it i give it to you you could probably put it together Unless it doesn't yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Okay. Here's the guy that had it. Your TVs come on. We just, we got to turn on the gin set. There's the front jacks coming down. That's climate controlled, right? Okay. <laughs> and all this stays? Most of it. Most of it? Ah, yeah. Outside entertainment. Speakers, camel hookups. That's your hydraulic system for your levelers, your uh, your brain, your manual slide out access.
Lowe's dry storage. Extra slide motors or? Yeah. yeah. That's the uh, radiator for the uh, CAT C7, uh, your hydraulic reservoir. Uh, this is where you add the oil. We check the oil, transmission fluid, coolant, all easy to get to. The trailer hitch. Seven round plug for trailer lighting. Your uh, cord, <laughs> that's uh, that's special. It has its own reel. It's automatic. This is a gold. This is the upgraded. Uh, on the regular Alphas, it doesn't have the autom automatic. Doesn't have the automatic slide out. This is your wet storage. House batteries, or I guess not, these are the, the engine batteries, house batteries in front. Brand new tires. Look. <laughs> Brand new. What, less than 300 on them? 300 miles or? 30 miles. Less than 30 miles on them. It's your outside shower. Uh, your cable electric, I mean cable and phone hookups, as if anybody has a phone anymore, but. Oh. This is the other side of the slide out storage. There's your sewer hose, garbage can. That is the propane. <clears throat> Water heater, right? Yeah. <laughs> the other one was sideways in the back. Same year, same same year, but and, and th that one was not a gold, but yeah, it was upright in the back. Refuel.
Yeah. It's the heater or the heater. Yeah, okay. Make it sure. More dry storage. Windshield wiper fluid. Generator. Should be a Generac generator with looks like six hundred and eighty seven hours. A generator oil, generator coolant. House batteries, genset, and house batteries. House batteries, genset batteries, and these look brand new. Yeah. yeah. Is that six or eight nineteen? Eight nineteen. So yeah, brand new batteries. You don't think about that when you buy one until you have to replace those. But having new batteries is a good thing. We're in. We're in high wind today. I don't know, probably 30 mile an hour winds. Uh, we can't do the awning. Uh, I'll do it again, we'll guarantee it uh, to work, but it's just too much wind today. And it does have an auto roll up if you're out. Have it out and it, uh, the wind picks up, it'll automatically roll up to keep from damaging it. These are the slides. Slide rubbers are in good condition. As you can tell from the operation earlier, it came right out. These are the cosmetic issues. This is blistering. Um, this was something that Alpha had a problem with. And uh, it can be repaired. I'm going to get quotes to repair it. Uh, looks like a shotgun. But uh, it is blistering. And basically what you do is sand that down and re-glass it. This RV spent most of its life in, in Ohio. Uh Whereas I didn't think in Ohio it would have this problem. I, I thought you would see more of this in, in South Florida, you know, in the desert where I'm at now. But uh, I mean, it does not in any way uh, affect traveling in the RV, any of that. Uh, it is cosmetic. Spoke with another Alpha owner that had it only on the compartment doors. This is the worst of it through here. This is on the passenger side, midway down. Most of it is on the lower, but right here, it seems to go all the way up. Or some sud fade on the decals. That is all decal right there as far as that, but there is blistering under it. I mean, this unit has pluses and minuses. Uh, as you've seen on the inside, it is like brand new. 
uh, 32,000 miles, runs and drives perfectly. Uh, as far as we can tell so far, everything works. Uh, there's a keypad entry. This is the gold, and it, it, it's an upper level from the other Alpha I had. Uh, a lot more whistles and bells. That is the access panel to the refrigerator. Bit to the air condition units. Access panel for them. Tires are probably. Remember what you paid for the tires? Twenty-eight hundred for the set. Brand new. I'm back, and I'm underneath the Alpha. It's the bottom of that Cat C7. No drips. Allison transmission. Transaxle. Uh, this is a diesel pusher. Airbags, rear levelers, which we worked earlier. Some brand new tires. This is the muffler. Some surface rust on the muffler. I mean, it's all very solid. This is the midsection. Uh, those are your cargo bins above that. This part is all sealed. So there's not a lot to see. Here's the back side of your rear end. Your transaxle. Rear suspension. See, there's no leaks on the rear end. Oh, that is the way it's supposed to be. When I'm on my back, there's the bottom of the slide. This is your main slides. One thing Alpha is known for is having very large slides. The uh, motor in this slide has been replaced. Uh, it. it, it in almost all RVs, eventually, that is something you have to do. This has been done. Hello again from under the Alpha. This is underneath the house batteries. It's not unusual to see some corrosion underneath the battery compartment. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Well, I'm not going to climb in there because of the genset muffler. I'm going to try to get in on that other side. There's the front suspension. Try to get up close and personal with it. Brand new tires again. I'm sure you're tired of hearing of them. And it's hard for me to remember to keep this phone upright. Uh, so you might get some of this upside down. Step motor. Uh, looks shiny and new actually. I need to lose some weight, so I'm going to keep doing this. There's your front end. I'm going to try to get in here somehow. Okay. There's your front levelers. Very intimate with those. Uh, no leaks around the seals. Same thing with that one. This is your passenger side suspension. I don't know who else does this, but I'm the hardest working guy in the RV business. There's 
your uh, front axles, front suspension, hub, uh, your brake rotor. All of that looks good. Front end components. Your other side of the leveler, your driver's side front leveler. All in really good condition. roof I see that was added. This has two AC systems. It has the basement air which Alpha is famous for and this gentleman lives in the desert. Oh by the way there's still snow in the mountains but anyway <laughs> sorry for being ADD. Uh, he had this added. It will chill you in there. Not kill you, chill you. Vents. These are the pop-up vents. Skylight in the bathroom. My footprints. This is the satellite system. It does have the track kit satellite, which means you can get internet and uh, cable TV anywhere. I guess you would call that satellite TV. But the roof's in excellent condition. If any of you watched the uh, last alpha video I shot, that was a roof that needed to. Needed to be resealed, this one does not. Uh, resealing them is depending on where you are, who does it. Uh, but it's with no other issues on the roof. It is about four gallons at $85 a gallon. And uh, depends on you do it or have somebody do it. I am not capable of working with anything sticky. I get more on myself than on the roof itself. These are the tops of the slides. Uh, this is a an awning, lack of a better word, that keeps leaves and tree limbs and acorns stuff out of your slide in the national forest and you've got your slide out and uh, you get stuff on there and roll it in and you got a sealing problem mess up your seals the wind is blowing once again Nevada is a beautiful state I'm in the high desert there's still snow there's a 
my uh, snow ski resort 45 minutes out of Vegas. I know you don't want to hear any of that, but keeps this from being so boring. <laughs> Flash on. Okay, okay, I think you can see it. Okay, there's a leak. Oh, we just went on the roof. There's nothing obvious. There is a leak that appears to be on the bedroom slide. Uh, is there a ladder on board? I got a six foot one. Anyway, I'm gonna get on a ladder here in a minute and figure that out. But it appears to be on both sides. That is probably the slide seal. I did not see anything on the roof. Uh, we will investigate more and figure it out. Again, we can't do the awnings today, but this has uh, remote awnings for the slide on this side. Um, anyway, I pushed it and hurt it. So we'll figure that out too. Ah! I'm going to take it outside. It comes with everything, including a ladder. <laughs> okay, I mentioned earlier that uh, we can't open the awnings. Uh, you can't open them with this kind of wind. Uh, but they all are all power. Uh, if you saw my other 2005 Alpha, only the main awning was powered. These use like a little hook stick. Uh, and, and pull them out. That's how it was on the other Alpha. These are fully automatic. So we're going to have to catch the wind not blowing. Uh, another thing, the windshield is perfect. There are no chips, no cracks. Uh, I need to say they're expensive windshields. Uh, and you want to get the comprehensive insurance coverage. Uh, first time you have to replace an inch of windshield, I wish you would have. Uh, where I think the leak is, is around the slide seal. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Uh, in fact, I've got to get up there again. I mean, as I showed the rubber earlier, this is, if you look at the rubber on the other Alpha video, you'll see this rubber is in much better condition than it was. seeing where it's leaking. I'm uh, on the alpha ladder. This is the slide in the rear where we're seeing the leaks. Uh, the rubber does seem to be twisted about midway. Uh, I really can't I mean, there's the uh, the seal between the roof and the fiberglass on the end. Now, I need another possibility. I mean, this could be resealed. Without a doubt, there's some cracks in that sealant. Uh, I mean, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, probably would not be hard to solve. Uh, it is something that I would be willing to do. Uh, if you're on the roof with me. Okay. Because that's a long way down. But, I mean, at some point, at some point, someone resealed this. That doesn't seem to work. It's leaking from. It seems to be leaking from over there. That is a distinct possibility right there.
mean, this is all sealed real good. There's the part that's not sealed. I would be willing to bet you that's where it's from. That's a simple resealant job. Get a steam cleaner and clean the headliner. I mean, I can't guarantee that. But in my uh, semi-professional opinion, there's your leak. Okay, take it in. The rear slide is a lot lighter, so it goes in and out a lot faster. blow here <laughs> that's the rear view camera uh, does it seem to be firing up these are sensors like you have on your car you get too close to something <laughs> which are really good the uh, last Apple did not have those Those are brand new wiper blades, by the way. I like to do the lights and everything at night. Uh, that's the front sensor, and you missed it. There was a guy walking through. He's looking for you. He does. He just ran in. Little guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, the sensors went off when a delivery guy came in front. Uh, we could not get the backup camera to work. Um, needs to say 2005, that is a uh, whatever screen, not, uh, not like a flat screen. What is the word? VRG, VHS, something. Uh, you know, I don't write this down. So uh, we haven't listened to the sounds yet. Uh, yeah, I say this in every damn video that button radios only had two buttons on and off when I was a kid. And I'm getting nada, nada, nada on the power. Uh, flickering in the screen there. Let's find the mode, 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 band. Okay. So, ah, there we go. There's AM. Volume. Not out. You know, and I, I willing to bet it's operator era, but um, gonna come back to that. It, it, it's definitely cooling. I've got temp gauges, uh, without a doubt. Any AC that's set for a year could use a shot of Freon. Almost the sensors again. 32,000 miles. This is your uh, 
There's a whole set of warning lights, by the way. I'll cut it off and cut it out in a minute, show them to you. This is your battery center. Uh, you know, it's, it's telling you the batteries are 97% full. It'll run 25 hours without charging those batteries. Keep in mind, a lot of stuff runs off of this. Uh, this has bubble levelers. Uh, the other Alpha had them way back here. Made it real difficult. Uh, those are much better. These are your visors. I, I shot a video earlier of them. The mirror controls. See if we get the mirrors to move. Ah, it's moving, 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 moving. Okay. See that one move. Move it out. Move it in. Now just screw his mirrors up. He's going to have to back it in that little space right there. Ah, uh, map light. Ah. Okay. God, I really don't want to stand on that. These, these are like brand new. Like literally this interior is brand new. Brand new, brand new. That just says no kids, no dogs, unless you beat them a lot. Okay. Ah, there's a map light. Now let's see if it'll make a liar out of me. Where did it go? Map light. Okay, unless this one is switched separately, uh, there's a bulb out, and I don't think they are. But here we go. So it's got a switch for the engine brake. Oh, yeah. uh, where of the transmission will shift down. Yeah. Ah, I was trying to get the sounds working. Oh, yeah, when's the last time you listened to the radio? Because there's a button over here. I don't know. I never had the radio. <laughs> I did have the, I... Oh, okay. No, because I'm saying I think it's operator era. That, uh... You know, when I was a kid, radios only had two buttons on and off. <laughs> I mean, people these days usually want some, you know, uh, some expensive sound system. But I'm not getting anything on anything. I'm sure there's a reason. Anyway, we uh, we flipped all the switches earlier. Um, the, the compass it's referring to is there, off, on, works. The hall lights we flipped. Uh, that's an engine heater. Uh, that'll work off the jet set or the. Yeah, they say you don't need it in this planet. Well, yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> they need to say you need a, you need an engine cooler. That is the thermostat for the uh, AC they added on the roof. I take it this is volume. Yeah. The computer. Computer uh, sound system. We never <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least we're honest. Should be the that's the CD changer, something. But that's the Clarion Multi CD. Uh, HP. That's a computer. Yeah. That's the computer. <laughs> okay. There's a computer in here, with three and a half inch disc. Ah. Uh, hey, direct TV satellite system there's your DVD player and you have VHS just in case 
There's your uh, wine guard is the satellite system. Oh, uh, that's just your distribution okay. center for it. No. no. Again, the printer. I, this was supposed to be a few days ago. I, I waited in. Okay, we're going to turn on the electricity, plug it back in, take some more stuff. Well, hopefully you can see that, because I damn sure can't. 40, 44.6, 44.2, 43. Yeah. 40. Yeah, it's definitely cold in here. Uh, I somehow thought we were going to take it for a dead run from zero, but uh, he's had it plugged in. So, yeah, the fridge is definitely, definitely, definitely working. And this is... I assure you it's colder than what it's showing. Did I take that off the wall? Here, hold for a minute. This is the refrigerator side at 40 whatever. And I mean, no doubt this should show freezing. I can get it on something that does. Trust me, it's freezing. What is that cold? Yeah. <laughs> See the generator kicked right on it? Yeah. There's not many hours on this. This water just came out of there and it is 29 degrees. How the hell is that off? It's got to be plugged in, I think. What, right off the genset? I don't know. I guess not. <laughs> ah. It was working when we plugged it in. Okay, we're going to come back to this. Yeah, because normally... Is this supposed to work with? Okay, there's no propane to run the stove, but if you take a close look at this stove, it's brand new. It, it, most people never use the oven. So things like this, I guarantee the stove to work. There's not a lot to stoves. Hydro hot we just turned on. Hydro hot. Diesel, electric, engine preheat. It's always a learning process, but there is water. There's the pump. Up on. There's, there's some fresh water in there. Flip it on. Or, or does it work off the Insta Hot? Let's see if we got hot water. Are you doing it here? Put it on. Well, no water. I don't know. <laughs> We had to tell the whole story about you haven't seen this motorhome in 12 years until recently. We will figure it out and get back to you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Why in the world would you move? <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is with the AC off. Okay. Okay, and these alpha vents on the on the lower unit, right there. Uh, <laughs> now he's gonna get a better position here. Uh, again, I'm not a professional cameraman, if you can't tell. But this is without the AC on. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we get some AC running. Okay, cool. Uncool. Fan mode auto. 76, 74, 73, 71, 68, 69, 67. Okay. We should feel a draw. 
when it comes on uh, which I have not we'll give it a minute and I am not sure if we should run both that off of uh, off of Genset power Okay. The cockpit air is blowing. I mean, it's just. It needs a shot of Freon. Okay, it is not 95 degrees. Well, you never know what you're going to see on video. Trust me, it's not 106 degrees. That would be in a sauna. Okay, let me cut that play around for a second. I'm home alone, by the way. Uh, in front of my customer's house, the owner, uh, about to look at the engine. For those of you that are in the middle of the video, he sold this RV owner finance 12 years ago. Uh, it came home unexpectedly. Um, you know, luckily he has room for it beside his house. He is a lifetime RV owner. He did buy this RV brand new. He has since bought and sold a couple of RVs uh, since having this one. Uh, this is under the under the bed. Nothing like live television. I'm going to switch to a commercial brake on that one. Okay, your right hand side latch definitely needs some WD 40. And the whole time I was calling it a cat, it is a Cummings. That was the Cummings, and I look it up, saw my other 2005 Alpha. It was a cat C7. I'll look up the horsepower on it. I've got a feeling this is the upgraded engine. I don't know if you can hear me or not. But there's, there's no leaks. I mean, that, that little bit of corrosion will back to another one of the street. That is dark. Um, that makes better. Okay, what I was saying was. The other 2005 Alpha I just sold had a Cat C7, which I think is a 300 horsepower engine. And I was thinking that this was also a Cat. This is a Cummings. So I'll run the specs on this, but I truly believe that is the upgraded engine. Uh, which is going to be more horsepower. It definitely seemed to have more power, but I have only been uh, basically around the block in it. Um, that's where your engine's located. WD-40. Okay. In the middle of whatever we were doing, my phone died, but... Uh, the last time we read this, it was 89 degrees, and baby, she's cooling. That is cold. And uh, we're, running, we're running off the gen set, by the way. We are not plugged in. This is, uh, again, it doesn't flicker like that. It's because I'm videoing it. Let's see, oven, bake, micro express, maybe. Select time. 84 degree water. I probably should take the cap off. That's really not gonna work. Yeah. 
Okay. Who wants to bet I'm going to spill water everywhere? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Microwave, select time. Is there a popcorn on here? My luck. Micro Express. Microwave. Hmm, select time. It's clock time. We don't want to do clock time. We want to run the microwave. There's a vent fan here. Vent <laughs> fed off. Power level. I don't want the clock. Ah. And remote. Nope, nope, nope. Move on. Microwave, microwave. Power level. Warm rate. The clock must be set for control to operate. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, we'll get right back to you. Okay, after a few seconds of operator error, let me tell you, this will not work unless you set the time first. <laughs> it, I'm sorry, but at my house, uh, unless my roommate sets the oven clock, uh, it's off and off. Uh, I'm just not into time. It's really cool about being retired, which I'm semi-retired, by the way. Okay, our food is ready. Let's hit that microwave express again. I bet it did feel somewhat warmer. My microwave express like 30 seconds. Does anybody remember from the last video what uh, what temperature that plastic bottle was? Me either. I think there's some noise in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was like 50 degrees earlier. It's 107 now. I mean, I don't want to cook it. 107, okay, from 52 earlier. Nobody remembers, neither do I. But the microwave definitely works. Okay, it's a convection oven and all that. Um, my experience is the microwave works, it all works. Again, we have no propane. Uh, the refrigerator we've already done was already working. We figured out the air conditioner. Remember where the vents are. Shit. Hang on, I need four minutes. I'll be 59, 58. And hold the damn thing still. Okay, this is take two on the ACs. Uh, switch to cool. Put that fan on auto to see if I can get it to kick on. Wow.
there is. You can see that. Uh, it's not, it's on, the video does that. Uh, what you're looking at is not. Okay, whatever the issue with the rear camera not working is not the screen because there's the computer. Uh, F1 save changes, following configuration automatic updated. Uh, that is the uh, Compactor HP computer kicking on, booting up for lack of a better word. See what this does, dims and yeah, okay. That is the computer compact. Okay, uh, bad shadow. The TV has a solid blue screen on it. Ah, changing channels. I mean, I assume whoever buys this is going to uh, want to change these off to flat screens. Again, you can't, it, it's a bad shadow, a bad glare. TV definitely comes on and off. I'll try to find a DVD uh, needless to say, this is an analog TV. You're not going to pick up anything out here. We are in the desert. But again, I mean, I can't read it off. The exterior of this is, uh, it, it, it's near perfect. I mean, I call that no kids, no dogs. I need to say we're, we're back in front of the customer's home. Um, slides are in, um, well, for that, I mean, if somebody wants to buy some flat screens, um, I'll help you mount them. Uh, anything that's do it yourself, I'll help do. Uh, we're going to recap the issues with it. Uh, a couple of other things I am still trying to get worked properly. But there's the TVs. Running through the electrical outlets. Um, that one obviously works. There's more light on the subject. Subwoofer volume if we get the sound system working. The other Alpha had a plug there. Uh, there it is. got to stick it in. Uh, I think you can't say that's what she said anymore. But anyway. uh, there's a shutoff switch for the um, for the outside step. The scare lights, those are the big lights on the side to scare bears away. There's a porch light. Let's see. Uh, Light on. Let's hit them scare lights. Scare lights are on. There might be another switch for the rear scare light. That one was not on.
That one's all kind of hard to tell from the sun, but three out of four ain't bad. More of the uh, electrical outlets. And this is um, the kitchen outlet. There's the other kitchen outlet. Ow. Let's see. I'm sure I'm missing one. Or two. Bathroom. There you go, it's the bedroom outlet. Okay, so we probably missed one somewhere, but all the outlets seem to be working. Give you an idea of what the outside temperature is according to this thermometer. I mean, we're in the desert. Yeah, baby. Of course, that's right out of the vent. Uh, probably 63. I want to say that red 81. It's not 81 in here. There. But I, I'm just touching the wall with it. I mean, it's definitely cool in here. This is the vet in the bathroom. Works perfectly. If there is a remote for this, I can't find it. In other words, if there's a button that turns it on and off, there wasn't the other alpha. Uh, it says push to pull, pull to push. Uh, how often do you need a vent in the bedroom? Don't answer that. Push auto, pull manual. Hmm. This is uh, the 12 volt water running. Uh, in all honesty, didn't run yesterday. Uh, I was trying to diagnose it and it started running. When those pumps sit sometime, they're difficult to crank up. Uh, this one definitely cranked up and ran. Uh, I'm trying to put a hot water on it here in just a second. It uh, somewhat caught me by surprise. Okay, but there's 12 volt water.
hot water heater test by the way as you can see it rising it is hard for me to stick my hand in there and hold the phone and the temp gauge I mean it's definitely heating up Oh yeah, I mean that's nice and warm. Okay, get it to there maybe. <laughs> okay, temperature gauge, make a liar out of me. Is that 86 or 66, somebody? Water heater controls, fresh water pump off. To recap this Alpha, this uh, 2005 Alpha 40 Gold. The Gold is the top of the line Alpha. Uh, it has a lot more whistles and bells than your standard Alpha 40 Sia. A lot more remoteness. In other words, on this one, all the awnings are remote controlled, whereas on the Alpha Sia, only the main awning is. I could not do the awnings because of the wind. Uh, therefore, those are things that the owner said he would guarantee. Uh, they were not, too low on propane to fire up the stove or run the uh, refrigerator and heat off of uh, propane. So the owner guarantees the propane system to work. Uh, all your other major systems work. Uh, there was an added AC in here for extra coolness. Uh, if you look at those videos uh, with the temperature gauges, it was 54 degrees when I climbed in here this morning. And I am in the desert and it is May, uh, a little cooler in the morning. Uh, the outside temperature gauge registered 107 yesterday uh, while I was shooting uh, the AC videos. Now, I, I don't think it was 107, but that's just wherever that temperature gauge outside is was picking that up. Uh, definitely in the 90s. Um, uh, Alpha had a problem with, uh, with blistering. This unit uh, definitely has blistering. And that is outside as you can see one more time the interior is in excellent condition all the way around uh, in fact it, it, I would go as far as to say uh, the leather interior is like brand new uh, the backup camera was one thing that didn't work it's not the screen and that is the expensive part that is also a computer screen it fired right up on the compact uh, HP compact computer that's in here the uh, printer right there which is pretty damn cool uh, the uh, step cover was remote kind of hung up on the down came right up on that and that's just a matter of tweaking it uh, we went through almost everything there are two light fixtures in the rear that weren't working um, pretty sure that's going to end up being bulbs if it is complete ballast uh, you need new fixtures these are not expensive fixtures those are the two that did not work i do believe we checked every light in here uh i missed things i'm not perfect 
Uh, I, I certainly do not leave out anything I know. Um, anything that I see you see, I don't try to hide anything from you. Uh, not the way I operate, not the way I was raised. Uh, for someone that needs a unit uh, for their business, that uh, they can wrap uh, with their business uh, logo, name, whatever, or someone that uh, wants a particular style of graphics, uh, this is a great unit because I can get you a deal on this unit. Uh, give me a call. 512-577-1772. Uh, also, the Alpha Gold has the upgraded uh, 400 horsepower Cummings engine as opposed to the uh, 300 or 320 horsepower cat engine in the Alpha Sia, which is the lower end model. Not that there's anything wrong with either of them. Uh, wrap this up and uh, go have me a little wrap party somewhere, as in W-R-A-P. Uh, that's what you do when you finish shooting a movie. So I'm out of here.